Welcome. In this video, we are going to introduce the Gutenberg starter theme, a great theme that you could use when you're building Gutenberg compatible themes from scratch and you don't want to start with nothing, you could start with this starter theme. Now it is open source and available on GitHub via this URL and we'll be checking it out to download and look through a little bit later. And it is a branch of the underscore starter theme from the folks at Automatic. Now, you should be familiar with this if you've been building themes for a while, but if you're not familiar with it, it is a starter theme that was developed in conjunction with many of the default WordPress themes and has baked into it a lot of lessons learned from theme development. So the Gutenberg starter theme has much of the same markup, but the styling and approach is going to be a little bit different. Now, in the words of the theme readme file, the idea of the default look for this theme is to as closely replicate that of the Gutenberg editor output as possible. In other words, they wanted a theme where the content in the theme looked as much like it did in the editor as it did on the front end as possible. And if we take a quick look at a screenshot of the theme in action, we could see just that. It's very simple. If we were to open up this page in the editor, it would look much like this. And the theme just has a simple header, some navigation, and in the bottom, a little footer. It's set up to be 100% width on every page, so you're going to get that out of the box. But besides that, not much is going on. We won't have any two or three column layouts or things set up to work that way. But in my opinion, it looks pretty great out of the box for a starter theme and is definitely a good base to work from if you want to build something more custom or styled on top of it. Now, when working with this theme, it's important to mention that you do not create a child theme of starter themes. You edit them directly. And this goes for this theme as well. So you're not going to create a child theme and install this as a parent theme. Nope, you just open it up in your code editor and start hacking away. Next time you have a new project, you go back to the starter theme and download the latest version. Some things may have changed, some may not have, but you don't have to go back and worry about editing or adding to your old themes. You simply use them as, like it says, a starter theme. I'll also mention that this theme is in continual development. It is meant to support all Gutenberg features and Gutenberg will continue to grow even after WordPress 5.0 is released. We'll see even more developments with this over time. So it could also use contributors. And if you notice really great things that you find that you need to add that others might need in as well, and it really fits in with the quote unquote starter theme, not necessarily custom styles, but really essential stuff, please go ahead and contribute back to that and the theme developers would love to have that extra support and input. So with that good introduction covered, let's go ahead and just take a look at the theme in action before we wrap up this video. Now, in order to get the theme, the easiest way at this point is to come over to GitHub and download the Gutenberg starter theme. Just grabbing that zip and, and installing that just like you would any other theme should work to get going. Now I have it here enabled on this site. You may recognize some of this content from the previous videos, but here we have our site just showing blog posts on the homepage. You could see even some things like if a image is not wide enough, it's not forcing itself to be that way. So really not making a ton of decisions in terms of how things should be styling, just letting Gutenberg shine and do the work. We could see that if you do have, you know, wide enough images, that'll still work the cover as well. And this is kind of what we would expect. So notice everything is kind of in the same column width. And then if we want to kick out of that with certain blocks and you could do so. So that's what the Gutenberg starter theme is going to give you out of the box, just like this. And you could go from here to add other templates or customize the CSS and do a whole lot of other things. And what we'll do in the next video is we'll begin looking at the source code in more depth so that we could understand what parts of this we might want to change or edit and how and where we would do that. But there you have it, the Gutenberg starter theme. Go ahead and download it now, install it, play around with it with some different type of content, and then we'll get into some of the code next.